I admire realism. I like it. I think it's an impressive thing to be able to pull off. Halloween, realistic costumes, they're the best. They have the most respect from me. Um, no laziness on Halloween, thank you. Gentlemen, showing up in a dinner jacket and bow tie and pretending that you are James Bond, it will not do. Unless you show up with a pistol and PTSD, I do not. I'd better find you later in the party, showering in your clothes with another equally traumatized woman. Or being very good at poker, something like that. If you're a lady, sexy cats. No respect. No respect for the sexy cats. In fact, I've got a plan this year to undermine them. I'm gonna come as a realistic cat. If only to give my girlfriend another chance to even have one. I'm coming as a realistic cat. I've got the costume almost worked out. The final thing I need to figure out is a way to ensure that you can always see my anus. <laughs> Some sort of clamp. <laughs> like a splaying device, I suppose. It's harder than you think, because cats don't have bum cheeks, do they? No, they don't. They have a sort of panel with a bum hole in the middle. Hard to emulate that in a costume without help from Jim Henson's workshop. That would have been a horrible villain in Scooby-Doo, wouldn't it? Someone dressed like that. Thank God you're here, mystery gang. There's a giant realistic cat haunting the theme park. Oh, and you think it's a man? No, we know it's a man. We want you to get rid of him. He's got his anus out. Fred and Daphne would be like, no, we this, the police should do this one. For once, the police can have one. This man is disturbed. Material for the age of the what dull show that was Scooby Doo. What an incredibly boring. As a child, I loved it, but looking back, it's the most boring show in the world. Every single episode of Scooby Doo was about financial crime, <laughs> low level financial misdemeanor. Oh no, but there was a guy dressed as Dracula. Yeah, but why was he dressed as Dracula? It was to scare away a board of investors. <laughs> He was dressing as Dracula to devalue waterfront property. That's fraud. That's a financial crime, isn't it? All I'm saying is, does that not strike you as a phenomenally dry genre of crime for a children's cartoon? Like, I can see why they need the ghost bit. Just to spice things up, for God's sake, I mean, Hanna-Barbera must have had to have a meeting and gone, look, we've done a lot of test screenings and children refuse to engage with our cartoon about a van of traveling auditors. <laughs> they find it dull. I... We're gonna make one of the auditors a dog. The rest of them can be hippies. People, that's cool now, people like hippies. People always trust hippies with financial affairs. And the fraudster can be uh, Dracula. <laughs> Why would a fraudster be Dracula? I don't know, Stephen, I'm bringing solutions. <laughs> Try to save the show.